Well, how do that, Chums does I, captain of the station today, Chums for you guys. In the view of us, I've got another Hogwarts Legacy video, and this one is how to get yourself the room of a requirement. Yes, this is your own little customizable home space. You can see over here on the side of the screen, I'm showing all the missions I've done. I am at about level 18 right now, and I'm about eight and a half hours in, and I've just got the broomstick, and I can fly my broomstick. I've gone back into this actual um, Hogwarts Academy, and I got given a mission to go and speak to Professor Weasley. And when you go and speak to Professor Weasley, it's near to this sort of tapestry of what looks like Jack and the Beanstalk, or some goblins or something. Anyway, it and goes into this cutscene. I'll shut up for a moment so you can see the cutscene. Hmm, somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Okay, now I'm going to speed up some of the actual footage until we get to a pile of chairs that's blocking our way and Professor Weasley teaches you a spell, an incantation to get rid of all those pesky chairs. Heck yeah, she does. So it's just a case of learning the spell, just like you normally do, you know, with a strange symbol and you've got to press the buttons as it goes round. I think I missed one in this one, thinking back of it. Yeah. And then you've just got to keep following this meandering path through all of this junk until you get to the house elf. It takes freaking ages. Now, there's a couple of hidden chests inside of here. There's one that I actually miss. Now, the way that you get that is you have to make a... A box levitate and you climb up on the box and jump over the wall I saw somebody else do it whoops I missed it and I don't think you can get back to it to try again because this room disappears once you've gone all the way through this labyrinth of junk so there we go I've now got myself and Vansico or something like that it makes things a vanisher Kate heck yes I have actually got two spell trees now because I've unlocked that on my traits list so I can put all of these sort of ones in there so i've got one for all my magics and weapons and then this one is just for things to progress the game you know so there we go i'm going to be magicking that out of the way goodbye Chaz. i need this spell in life i really do yeah, it wouldn't be cool just to be able to wash up all your dishes zoom done diddly and done anyhow you're going to be getting moonstone now i've got a shed load of moonstone from out in the wilds it's these little blue crystals that grow near rock formations as you're walking about if you see it zap it you can get moonstone heck yes you're going to need that for putting your room of requirement together you're going to come across a few little letters i'm not too sure who's leaving them i mean a and t what the fudge is that all about not too sure but a little bit freaking cryptid anyway just follow it around because it's just take a while and there's a lot of crawling to do and things like that i kept doing that um you know the, the thing that makes things scan and appear yeah revealio or whatever it is and um i didn't reveal hardly anything there's a couple of chests but they're, they're, it's kind of obvious how to get one and then there's one that's just not so obvious you have to levitate the box using that sort of one with the feather and move it around using the purple one and dragging it around so yeah hopefully you'll be able to, this is where i didn't jump over the wall that's it you just levitate it jump over the wall but you should get to here it's got a bit of blue light so as soon as you see this blue light and the candles float down you know that you're nearing the end so if you do want to go back make sure you go back before you walk through this last bit because if you go too far it enters into the cutscene and that's it pretty much you can't go back for that chest that i missed yikes careful huh oh there you are wait right there deke will come to you hello ah oh, deke we've been looking for you uh, apologies professor weasley deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since deke was last here is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. 
Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing... Okay, now you things. are going to get freaking ear bleed because there is so much dialogue going on in all of this. It really didn't need this much freaking dialogue and hand-holding, but it's there. And yes, you learn a couple of spells on how to bring things in and manifest them and also how to then remove them and how to edit them as well and change their colour and resize them. Right, people, well, I don't think you really need me to tell you how to do all this sort of stuff because it's so handheldy and the guide is so bloody good. So, yeah, enjoy. It's freaking awesome. So you do get taught a couple of spells here. One lets you edit stuff, which is pretty cool. You can change the size, resize it, change the color. But not only that, you can change the colors of the walls and also what's inside of the bookcases. So in one corner, I've made it all botanical. It's got all plants and freaking shrubberies. Shrubberies in that corner. So I put my potting bench there for making my own plants and stuff oh, yes I have now the corner that you can see here that I'm doing up at the moment I'm probably going to be placing my clothing stuff there because I've already got that other desk there that works out what the clothing is but there's an enchanted loom you can get now looking at it to unlock it it looks like you've got to do a mission to get that enchanted loom so hopefully I'll be doing a video soon on that mission how to get the enchanted loom and how it actually works because what it does is all the old pieces of clothing that you've got that you probably really like the look of but you've got some newer stuff that looks really crud at the moment, like that hat I'm wearing. The stats are freaking awesome. Yeah, you can merge those into your old pieces of garments to give them the stats you want. Because I would just want a nice little flat cap for my dude, I do. I'm going to make him look like a proper Londoner. I guess I am. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do. And I'm bringing you the videos in good time as and when I work it out. Awesome. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do. Kaboom! I guess. Yeah, and then another corner, I'm trying to make it look all science-y and adding in sort of like my science table where I can make my potions. Boom! There's a whole other area that opens up down further. Don't know what to use that for yet, but I'll be sure to let you know once I've got a freaking purpose for it, people. Really liking this room of requirement and the amount of customization you can do. And not only that, I've noticed that after you've got this, some other little missions open up in some of the towns, like side quests, so you can get more enhancements for your rooms so it opens up a swathe of new things to follow you about and achieve awesome people in the viewer verse hope you like this video until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again people in the viewer verse <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.